this. That's Thank the way you. to make an entrance. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I want you to take a deep breath. Take it in for a moment. You yes. waited for this day. Exactly. <laughs> so I want you to enjoy it. Thanks. So Olivia and Eric, welcome Thank to beautiful you. Treasure Island. Thank you. <laughs> We've gathered here at this special place that you've chosen to celebrate your love for one another and to unite the two of you in marriage. I'm gonna go ahead and take that beautiful bouquet. Thank you. So I want you to turn, face each other, and hold hands. So you've chosen a reading from 1 Corinthians. Marriage is obviously all about love. But what is love? The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians that love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy, love does not boast. Love is not proud, love rejoices in the truth, love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, it endures all things. Love never fails. But what does this mean in the context of your marriage? It means that love is not just a feeling. It's not something you can fall into or out of on a whim. Love is a commitment to do loving things. Love is a commitment to be patient and kind, to not easily be angered, proud or self-seeking. Love means forgetting past wrongs and forgiving one another. Your love is not an accident. It doesn't just happen, and I can assure you, it can be hard work. But with your vows today, you're committing to protect, trust, encourage, and persevere for each other. So now we get to the fun part. <laughs> Given the fact that we are gathered here today, and you both look magnificent, Thank when I you. ask this next set of questions, I imagine I'm gonna get affirmative responses. <laughs> but believe it or not, I have to have your consent to marry you. Okay. So Eric, do you get the privilege of going first? Eric, do you take Olivia to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. There we go. <laughs> and Olivia, do you take Eric to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. See, now we can really get to the fun part. <laughs> You've chosen to exchange vows. And to keep this simple, I'm going to ask you to repeat after me in phrases. I want you to say these to each other. Okay. Again, Eric, you get to go first. Okay. I, Eric, choose you, Olivia. I, Eric, choose you, Olivia, to be my partner in life, to be my partner in life. I give you my love and my trust. I give you my love and my trust. I accept you now for who you are. I accept you now for who you are. And I give you all that I am. And I give you all that I am. I want to grow with you. I want to grow with you through the changes of life, through the changes of life. Together we will endure, together we will endure whatever life may bring us, whatever life may bring us. This is my promise to you. This is my promise to you. And Olivia, it's your turn. I, Olivia, choose you, Eric. I, Olivia, choose you, Eric. To be my partner in life. To be my partner in life. I give you my love and my trust. I give you my love and my trust. I accept you now. I accept you now. For who you are. For who you are. And I give you all that I am. And I give you all that I am. I want to grow with you. I want to grow with you. Through the changes of life. Through the changes of life. Together we will endure. Together we will endure. Whatever life may bring us. Whatever life may bring us. This is my promise to you. This is my promise to you. And if those vows are not more contemporary than they are during these days, right? <laughs> exactly. So relevant. So you have beautiful rings here. For the ring exchange, the whole purpose of the ring, of course, is that it serves as the outward symbol of the vows that you just shared. It is an unbroken and never-ending circle, just like your love. So again, Eric, we'll start with you. Olivia's ring is on top. And I want you to take that ring and repeat after me as you place it on her left ring finger. With this ring. With this ring. I bind my life to yours. I bind my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love. It is a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. And the promise of all my tomorrows. And yes, you can help. <laughs> Get there. <laughs> And if you'll take Eric's ring now, Olivia, place it on his left ring finger. With this ring. With this ring. I bind my life to yours. I bind my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love. Is it a, it is a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. And the promise of all my tomorrows. Now I want you to take a moment, look at your hands. It's appropriate that you're holding hands. 
because we're going to ask a blessing upon you. Eric and Olivia, your hands are now forever changed. As you continue holding hands, reflect on what they mean to you as we ask this blessing. These are the hands that will love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that will wipe the tears from your eyes, both tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will comfort you when you are sick or console you when you are grieving. These are the hands that will hold you through the difficult times and support you as you chase down your dreams. These are the hands of your soulmate and best friend. You are stronger together than apart. Now I'm going to step out of the way and I'm going to ask you both to gather behind the table. And you're going to take the individual containers of sand and you're going to pour them into the Unity container. And I'll read about the significance of that. You ready? Yep. There you Wait. go, you can get started. And you want to fill it up till it's overflowing. These individual containers of sand represent you as the individuals and the individual paths that have led you to each other. Can I do it all the way? <laughs> yeah, just, she said fill it up till it's overflowing. As you pour the containers in, You've created a unique vessel. You've worked together to achieve a common goal, which is the perfect metaphor for a successful marriage. Your cooperation results in a more beautiful creation than either could achieve alone. And just as these grains of sand can never be separated, so shall your lives be united from this day forward. And now I'm going to ask that you switch places. And so, Olivia, you're going to take your place over there. And Eric, you're going to take your place here. In front of the arch now, oh. again, joining hands, oh, okay. signifying the change in your life. As we come to the closing reading, happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through the years. It is having mutual values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not out of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive it is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. So Eric and Olivia, in so much as you've come today, you've declared your intent to be married. You've shared vows and exchanged rings to celebrate and signify that commitment. It is my honor and my privilege under the laws of the state of Florida and as a minister of the church, I get to pronounce that you're a husband and wife. As soon as I step out of the way, I'm going to kiss your beautiful bride. Okay. Are you good now? Or are you going to stop crying? Yeah. Okay. That's so nice. Oh, okay. You may have lipstick so I need to okay. <laughs> It's not showing, so it's really That's great. Okay. <laughs> it's a nude color. That's good. So you're going to join hands. You're going to face Jonathan here. And I get to, for the first time, introduce Mr. and Mrs. Eric Ward. <laughs> 